is true that our ministry is a rescue mission. So, we all must maintain a positive attitude towards our ministry. We need to be like Jesus, who maintained a positive attitude towards his ministry, despite the indifferent attitude of people of his time. Very few people embraced the truth during Jesus' ministry. Not even his brothers, meaning that his own brothers did not exercise any faith or embrace any or embrace the truth during his ministry. But after his death and resurrection, many became Christians, including his brothers. Please pick up your Bible and open to John chapter 7, verse 5. John chapter 7, verse 5, is well there. His brothers were, in fact, not exercising faith. So from here, we can see that his brothers did not exercise any faith in him. But now, let us see what happens next, which is after his death and resurrection, at the Bible book of Acts chapter 1, verse 14. Acts chapter 1, verse 14. Over there, it reads, it's one purpose. All of these were persisting in prayer together with some women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. So from there, we can see that later on, his brothers became Christians and started exercising faith in him. So today, we don't know who this is. It might be now or later. But what is important is for us to keep a positive attitude in the ministry. We should keep preaching. I hope that people will embrace the truth someday. Please pick up your Bible once more. And let's all open to the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 6 and 7. Before I dare the truth. I planted a pool of water, but God gave me his growth, so that neither is one who plants anything, nor is the one who grows, who waters, but God who makes it. So, from this, we need to understand that in the ministry, all we need to do is start by talking and teaching people. Then, Jehovah will finish the work we started by making sure the truth grows in their hearts. The experience of Brother Geta on the Utopia shows this. He says, and I quote, For more than 20 years, I was the only publisher in the Southern World Series. But now, there are 14 publishers. There's no them not baptized, they put my wife and three kids. Now, we have an average of 32 people at meetings. But I get out of this blood that he continued preaching by the patients devoted for Jehovah to throw one certain ones to his organization. Hence, brothers and sisters, it is a privilege to work with Jehovah and his son Jesus Christ in that people from all nations to be saved before the end comes. And Jehovah can use any one of us to rescue anyone who is deserving. So, let's also maintain a positive attitude in order to be useful to Jehovah, knowing that the world will bless us and our ministry will be a great source of joy.